me about the link between President Bush and the Bin Laden family, but a new report says former President Carter, the Habitat for Humanity guy, has his own connections to that family. Joining me now, the woman behind this explosive investigation and the chair of the Censure Carter Committee, Melanie Morgan. So, Melanie, uh, first of all, uh, President Bush and, and the Bush family have been hammered by the likes of Michael Moore over any connection to the Bin Laden family. Uh, are those are those exactly the same connections we now see with Jimmy Carter? They are exactly the same connections. That's right, John. You know, my organization, Move America Forward, has been involved in investigating and researching records out of the Carter Center in Atlanta, Georgia. And I was shocked to find out one thing, that millions of dollars of American taxpayers' money is going into the outrageous propaganda that Jimmy Carter is uh, running around the globe uh, spewing. And here's the second most outrageous thing, or I should reverse the order. The most outrageous thing is that we have discovered, and I've got the uh, Carter document papers right here, that over a million dollars has been donated to the Carter Center from bin Laden, the same bin Laden family uh, that Michael Moore made such a huge deal about in his propaganda film, Fahrenheit 9-11. I'm talking about Bakur bin Laden. We've also been able to track down that Jimmy Carter met with 10 members of the bin Laden family. How's that? You know, Melanie, if, there was, if it was a bad deal for uh, Bush to get slimed from taking money from the uh, bin Laden, members of the bin Laden family who are guilty of nothing, uh, can the same be said about Carter? Well, I think that what we have to remember here is the hypocrisy factor that's at work. Jimmy Carter and Michael Moore were sitting in uh, the skybox at the Democratic National Convention. Do you remember the famous photo of them two all buddy-buddy? Michael Moore uses propaganda film to attack, viciously attack George W. Bush and undermine the support for the war on terror. And now the same person, Jimmy Carter, that he is buddies with, is now being actually the, the right one. He was the right, right president who was hanging around with bin Laden's, not George W. Bush. Look, we're at war. We have got some very vital issues at stake. And here's Jimmy Carter running around with Hugo Chavez. Um, he has certified a clearly fraudulent election, Kim Jong-il. Um, he is the one who is accusing America of being the colonialist power. Jimmy Carter is the one who is undermining our foreign interests when we are at war. And that is what is so shocking and reprehensible. All right, Melanie Morgan. By the way, uh, we uh, inquired of the Carter Center if they would like to respond. Uh, no response from them. Melanie, thanks very much. Thank you.